People love places where they can make memories, places offering a fun experience and gathering options for them to come early or stay late. Glendale's Sports and Entertainment District is a premier destination for those world-class experiences. It's home for the Arizona Cardinals, Arizona Coyotes, and the Chicago White Sox and Los Angeles Dodgers during spring training. It's an exciting and vibrant hub and point of pride for the city. And you know what's remarkable? 20 years ago, this was vacant land. Now it's ground zero for one of the fastest growing areas in the entire state with transformational growth booming all around it. Let's go back to December of 2003. The Arizona Coyotes dropped the first puck in Gila River Arena, the city of Glendale's beautiful new state-of-the-art hockey and multi-purpose arena rose in the middle of farmland as an isolated vision of unlimited opportunity. Soon, using sophisticated engineering and design, the iconic State Farm Stadium was built across the street. Westgate, the bustling complex of fun, evolved surrounding them, offering bars, shops, and restaurants. Then, a neighboring outdoor designer shopping mall was built. Collectively, this became known as the Sports and Entertainment District. Enjoy live music? Name a top act. This is where they come. This is also Arizona's sports hub between the NHL, NFL, Major League Baseball, and NASCAR racing. The West Valley is where the action is. Glendale hosted the NCAA Men's Final Four Championship in 2017. It's coming again in 2024. Two past Super Bowls have been played here. The third is coming down the pike, slated for 2023. There may not be a bigger event uh, uh, than the Super Bowl. And uh, you want to be successful, you want to make sure that the fans who have come here uh, have an experience that is memorable and will bring them back to the Valley. C-L-E-M-S-O-N. Our mega events range from NCAA college football championships to WrestleMania and monster trucks flying through the air. We believe that with our sports entertainment district, we can do something that nobody else in the state of Arizona can replicate. Crystal Lagoon's Island Resort is an example of that. Work on building this amazing and unique project will begin soon. It will have themed islands, shops and restaurants, plus venue space, a family entertainment center, and amusement rides. Westgate is on an aggressive path forward, owned by successful entrepreneur Bob Parsons, who invested more than $130 million to acquire this prime real estate. New businesses are on their way, and existing national chains are reporting their top performing locations are here. Topgolf chose this area knowing it would provide them with one of the most profitable locations in their portfolio. And Topgolf's a great example of experiential entertainment. It is not just a place to golf and go. You can stay to eat, watch something on the big screen, and then head minutes away for outlet shopping. It is the kind of comprehensive day worthy of a snap and share. The only sector in brick and mortar retail that has grown over the last decade has been experiential retail. Westgate Entertainment Sports District has all those elements that will attract the new generation, whether it be the X generation, millennial generations to come here. And so we're excited about the future. Across from Westgate, south of the new Desert Diamond Casino and next to Cabela's, tenants of the Enfuego development will include new shops, restaurants, entertainment venues, and a hotel. Glendale's business boom includes multiple hotels. For Super Bowl 49, there were half a dozen hotels in this area. Before Super Bowl 57 arrives, Glendale will have doubled its available hotel rooms, meaning visitors to the sports and entertainment district can easily extend their stay and go back for more. The ripple effect has been seen all up and down the Loop 101 freeway beyond the entertainment district. 
to the north, there is a hot spot for new luxury auto dealerships. BMW, Jaguar, Land Rover, Volvo. There's the beautiful Arrowhead Lakes community, one of the most affluent residential areas in the valley. With nearby shopping and dining at Arrowhead Town Center, where sales per square foot are among the highest in the state. Nearby new upscale rental housing options are going up to meet the demands of a growing millennial workforce. There's Luke Air Force Base, home to the F-35, the world's most technologically advanced fighter. And one of Major League Baseball's premier spring training facilities, Camelback Ranch Glendale. Glendale is ideally located, neighboring central Phoenix, and we have the room to welcome even more people and businesses. Celebrations opening a couple of new city roads are helping fuel the development. <laughs> Ribbon was cut when Glendale completed the final stretch of Cardinals Way, extending Bethany Home Road from north central Phoenix to the Sports and Entertainment District. Also, Glendale built Ballpark Boulevard to connect Camelback Ranch Glendale to the Sports and Entertainment District and the Loop 101. Around Ballpark Boulevard is 300 acres ready for new office space and retail areas. And because people like to live where the fun is, new homes. Stonehaven homes are also going up in the shadow of the stadium. It's a new luxury housing development with an electric vehicle charging station in every garage. It is helping Glendale meet its sustainability goals. Heading west of the Sports and Entertainment District and up over the White Tanks Mountains, there is a whole new frontier with land as far as the eye can see and room to grow. There are business developments and master plan communities in the works and currently going up all the time. Eventually, this area will welcome more than half a million new residents. Commercial business growth is booming here along the Loop 303 freeway. It's due to Glendale's pro-business environment and expertise with bringing projects to life for companies quickly and easily and the fact that West Valley cities are a model of cooperation with close relationships with groups like Maricopa Association of Governments and Westmark. That was key to attracting longtime partners Ball Corporation, Rao Fruit Juices, and energy drink Red Bull to invest in Glendale for their manufacturing facilities and distribution centers. To meet demand for its hard seltzer, White Claw built the largest, most technologically advanced brewery in North America here. Another global corporation, Amazon, selected Glendale's Loop 303 corridor for its new sortation center. Also, Park 303 brings a million square feet of Class A industrial space. The Camelback 303 development will be a $1.5 billion major development with manufacturing, industrial, and commercial space. All this development translates to more job opportunities. The completion of the Loop 303 freeway spurred this Western development. And if you take an overview look of the Valley's extensive highway loop transportation system, from every corner, all roads lead to Glendale. The Loop 202 swings by East Valley cities, and at the beginning of 2020, the Loop 202 extension opened, bringing those East Valley commuters to the Sports and Entertainment District easily. The Loop 101 circles around North by Scottsdale and Peoria for easy access for their commute to the fun. Interstate 10 makes the drive from downtown Phoenix skyscrapers to the west side of the Loop 101 and Entertainment District hassle-free. The roads are ready. Great infrastructure is here. There's plenty of land and ground is constantly being broken. The metamorphosis that took this from farmland to an entertainment mecca is only just the start. It is expected over the next 20 years that one third of the state's population will call the greater West Valley around here home. 
Glendale's future continues to be built around an economy that welcomes opportunities for experiences, including mega events. And our business success is setting the stage for new places to live, work, and play well into the future. The past has been an incredible ride, but stay tuned. The best is yet to come.